Hi and welcome to Add More Zest. My name's Rebecca, also known as 4 at 147 and today we've got tip and trick number 44 and this is in relation to making your own sort of stickers that you can use um, to then label up your pots. Now not all diamond paintings come with an inventory sheet like this one does so this one comes with a list of symbols and comes with a list of numbers already done for me some you do only get the canvas and this list is detailed on your canvas now I have been known in the past to cut that symbol sheet just straight off the canvas and use that to make stickers you can also if you have the ability you can scan it or take a photograph and then print that out so that you can use that to make your stickers. Um, but I'm gonna be doing it today with my inventory sheet, getting ready for a painting that I will be kitting up soon. Now, I do use a paper trimmer for this. I have one from scrapbooking and it's there. So if it's there, I'm gonna use it. You can equally do this with a pair of scissors but I do suggest initially cutting your inventory sheet into one big long strip. I'm going to grab some scissors as well, though I have been cutting some foam sticky tape with this earlier on today. So we'll see how it does on paper. Uh, but I cut this down so that I am just dealing with the part that I need to be or want to be sticky. And then there are a couple of ways. I do have a favorite way of doing it, which is using my Xyron sticker maker. So I can feed this through and it will coat the whole of the back of this with lots and lots of tiny little glue dots, like really, really small um, dots all over the back of this, which will then in effect turn this into a sticker. But that's not something that everybody can have access to. Either getting hold of one in the UK can sometimes cause a bit of a problem. Also, it may be the initial cost of it. What you can also use is the likes of double-sided tape. So this huge roll of double-sided tape, for example, is a pound, which could last you quite a few diamond paintings. And you can either do it in one or two strips depending on how big um, your inventory sheet is. Um, the only thing with this is you will then need to peel the top coat off each individual one as you cut it. So it is a little bit more fiddly but it is definitely more cost effective to do it this way than necessarily with the Xyron sticker maker. But, I mean, this one is quite a long, uh, sorry, quite a wide sticker one. So this is best just going in the sticker maker as a whole sheet. If you find that you have an inventory sheet that's quite thin, then I suggest that you put two pieces in together just to save on wastage or to, to prevent wastage. And once you've popped this down, you scratch, well, rub down over the top and peel it off. And what that does is you end up with all the, you can't even really see that they're dots, but they are um, very, very tiny bits of glue um, in the form of dots so that it does stick to some, but not all. But they're so minute, you could think it was one full sheet but very, very thin layer of glue. This is what didn't go onto the back of my paper. And then this section here, there's no glue on that because it's all gone onto the sheet of paper. Screw that all up on itself and get rid of it in the bin. And then once you've got your sticker sheet or you've put your double-sided tape on the back, then cut your stickers into individual ones. The last thing you want to do is be trying to get double-sided tape on the back of each individual sticker 
or trying to feed each individual sticker through the sticker maker. If you have quite a lot of numbers, or I say if you do have um, thin sheets that you can do two of together, then by all means do that to help your sticker maker go further. And then what I like to do when I cut through to make the individual stickers is I don't cut all the way to the end because I don't want them scattered all over my desk and not be able to figure out which way they should go. So I cut through all of them to nearly the end but not fully the end. And I'm nearly there. Quite a few. Quite a few stickers to do on this sheet. But then what I have is individual stickers with a sticky back that can go onto each of my pots for me to be able to see the symbol. So the symbol I use because of course that is what is detailed on the canvas. So that's what I need. You know, I'm looking at the canvas, I'm looking at my pot of diamonds and off I go. And then I keep the DMC number. For, this is mainly for kitting up and for de-kitting. So I need it for kitting up so I know which bag of all these diamonds needs to go in the pot. And then I use it for de-kitting so I know which DMC number it is for them to go out of the pot and into my spare storage. Many of you will have seen me do that on many sort of videos where I have kitted up a project. If it comes with an inventory sheet, it's my go-to. Uh, but I do wanna let you guys know, you know, that you can use double-sided tape, which is a lot cheaper. You can use the, the, invent the inventory sheet, or the ledger sheet, off the canvas directly, or you can take a photograph or a scan of the canvas before you do it so that you could make yourself stickers each and every time. So thank you all so much for watching and I'll speak to you all again soon.